What's up, everybody? Today we are with Miss Hannah Armbrust. Hannah Armbrust. And Nicole Basti. And Liz. That's my boss lady. She yells at me. Today we are at a park in Denver, Colorado. We are going to be doing some photo shoots outside. We're going to show you how to use a strobe. For those of you who have lights but don't know how to use it, we're going to do that. Am I recording? I am. I just got a fresh haircut. Ooh! Looking, yeah. looking fierce. Last week I was a little fluffy. I had all these gray hairs too. <laughs> yeah, I look much, much more better. Oh, is that a scratch on my lens? Nope. Don't recommend doing that with your own lens. We're going to do some photography lighting. Uh, we're going to walk down to the place to go through wardrobe. We have some storm clouds. Looks like it's raining over there a little bit. So to keep on the weather. We have selected the outfits. Um, I'm gonna try something new today because normally I um, I usually don't shoot people with a lot of stuff on. That sounds kind of bad, but I shoot a lot of fitness stuff. So it normally means like um, athletic wear, sports bras, uh, booty shorts, bikinis, stuff like that. Um, but the models today, we're gonna try to shoot something a little bit different. Uh, one of the models is gonna wear a dress. To be honest with you, I have no clue what to do with the dress. I don't shoot that stuff. To me, it's kind of like a senior picture, but we're gonna try it. So I'm gonna try it out for y'all today. But big thing is, I'm gonna show you how to use a strobe. If you look behind us, there, let me show you. This is what we're looking at behind. So that's what we're working with. So we're gonna try to get the model to pop, and then I'm gonna try to make that background look a little bit more dramatic. Over there, there's a little bit of rain. All right, so our model is getting ready. She is getting her shoes on. They're humongous shoes. This girl has some big ass feet, but we're not gonna talk about that. No, I'm gonna show you, hold on. Look how big these feet are. Stop that. Those are size 17. <laughs> Let's see if Hannah has regular size feet. They do, those are like baby shoes. Baby feet. Uh, and that, those are not baby feet. Okay, yeah, that's a pretty dress. Totally not my style. I don't know what to do with this. All right, so today we are using Interfit lights. I'm using the S1, which is a 500 watt high speed sync TTL. It's AC DC powered, so you can plug it in or you can use the battery. Right now we have a foldable portable beauty dish. We are using a Canon 5D Mark IV, and I haven't used this lens in a long time. Canon 85 1.8. This here is about 350 bucks. You don't need the fanciest lenses. The 85 here is actually super, super sharp. It's my favorite lens. All right, girl, let's have you stand. Oh no, let me see you sit for a second. All right, guys, I moved the light over to my side. We've got the light behind her. So the sun's behind her. It's gonna give a little bit of a rim to her back. So when you're shooting outside, always know where the sun's at. If she's looking in that direction, she's gonna squint because she's gonna be looking into the sun. It's gonna have her look more based on me. You can tell where the sun's at if you look at her face. So this is where the light is heading to. And so one thing I wanna do is make sure that the, the shadow from the eyelashes don't impact the shot too much when I turn her face this way. There. There. Chin down and touch. Good, push that left shoulder forward a little more. There. There. Beautiful, look up. Move. Strong. Okay. Okay. I see you. I see you. All right, guys, we are with Miss Hannah. We're going to be doing model number two, look number one. This is her very first day shooting. She lied to me. She said it was her first shoot, but she shot with a buddy earlier today. Models that lie. Keep an eye on you. <laughs> um, even if someone comes in with a lot of experience, I still ask them, you know, how many shoots have you done? Um, if they say a lot, I ask them, you know, more than 10, more than 20, more than 30, to try to get an idea. What I find is a lot of times when a model has shot a lot, sometimes they, they get set in their ways and they have their favorite poses to do and then they want to, you know, do them. I don't like that because then the shots will look like everybody else that shoots with them. And so I ask them, you know, how many shoots have you done? How many shoots have you done? Three. Three. She told me zero earlier, and then she just told me one, I just told and now you it's three. Too. Okay, that's the third lie this she is, said today. This is the third <laughs> So what I'm still gonna do is I'm gonna ask her, uh, do you like to be told what to do, or do you like to move free? Let's ask her. I like to be told what to do. 
That's good, because I don't let people move free. <laughs> on the shot, so as a photographer, I want to make sure that the shot looks the way that I see it, because I don't want her to pose the way that she wants to pose freely, because then, like I said, the shots we get today will look just like the shots she got earlier today, and then the shots she got earlier at her other shoot, third shoot, I'm talking about the first time we're shooting. <laughs> first thing I want to talk about is eyeballs. So I want to let you listen in to how I interact with the first, the third time model. All right, so let's zoom in and see what this chica looks like. What's your selfie side? Take a selfie. Yes. So, this side of your face? Mm -hmm. Here's an interesting fact. Everybody's face is slightly deformed. What that means is if we were to take a picture of her face here and cut that picture in half and then fold one side over and fold the other side over, it would look like two different people. And so normally people, because they look in the mirror all the time, they know what side they like the most. And usually it's the the eye that is the smallest is the eye that they normally put closer to the camera because it makes it look more symmetrical when they tilt their head. If the big eye is closer to the camera, then it makes the big eye look humongous with the small eye in the back. All right, so one thing to keep in mind is if you're outside, if you have a model that has really super light eyes, she's got super light green, green, mm -hmm. really bright. One thing to be aware of is uh, when it gets bright, the eyes are a lot more sensitive to the sun and to brightness so if they start tearing especially if they have makeup down um, you have to keep an eye on that tell them to close their eyes if needed just don't have them look straight into the sun because green eyes blue eyes they, they just it hurts if you have brown eyes like me it don't matter all right first up when you're shooting outside you have to look at the background first so a lot of things i see a lot of mistakes is uh, photographers make the model look amazing but if you look directly behind the model it's atrocious. There's a, a cone or there's power cords or there's people or a bush or something that looks really nasty. So that's what I'm looking at first. So first I'm going to set the shot make sure your composition looks good. All right, I like it. All right, so we are at F2 on blur out that background. We are 1 2500th of a second for the shutter speed. That's going to make sure the background's a little bit darker, but so I can still maintain the F2 in the back. All right, let's talk about posing. Right now it's laid back casual. Oh, let me see the front shoulder. Yeah. There you go. Good. Perfect. Maybe sit. Do you more? Do you have more? Do you like glam more or fashion more? Glam more. All right. Let's push all the hair to the other side. Good. There's a string on the back of that sweater. Let's tuck that in. There. Good. Perfect. Bring the hands up to the side. Good. Okay, arms. You need longer arms. Okay. That's good. All right, let's have your knees out. So put your hands in the center like press. There you go. There. Perfect. Can you press. Sit tall. Good. Push that left shoulder forward a little more. There. there. Hold it. Hold it. Good. Push the hair that one right in the middle. Good. Bring your feet, go more to the toes. There you go. Feet wider. Good. Tall. Good. Bring the shoulders in. Ooh. Good. When you lean in, push that left shoulder in a little bit more. Bring the head down. More. There you go. Good. That left shoulder. For a little more. I don't want the full turn. Just a shoulder. There you go. Bring that back shoulder around to me a little more. Good. Nice. Good. That was good, Chica. That was strong. All right, so we showed you two sets using one strobe, using ambient light in the background with part of the image. I'll do the recap when I get back at home so I can look at this footage and see what it all looks like. In the meantime, we're gonna go to a different location. We're gonna glam it up a little bit. So I've gotta separate the different styles because YouTube does not like glam. So I gotta do something with a whole bunch of clothes on so that way it is YouTube safe. And then we're gonna do a second video where YouTube most likely won't like it. But stay tuned and we'll come back to you tomorrow. Well, we are getting dressed for the next look. Looks like we have a quinceanera behind us. You should mess with them, huh? The wife says no. You don't think we should mess with them? No. 
kind of fun is that? That's not fun. 